Welcome to Jessie's Homemade Garden Jam, episode four, season two, Calamau and his tiny garden big band. This is, Emma says, take off my glasses. I can't see you. Can I now you can I squint at us like a little naked mole rat. Um, this is our very first jazz episode. I'm moonlighting as a jazzer today. Occasionally gonna try and play some tunes with these guys. It's the whole point of the, the garden jam is for me to invite amazing musicians that I get to play with. Um, these guys are really spectacular. They're like harmony wizards. I don't know how they do it. It's just incredible skills. Um, lots of fun things for us to do, lots of games. If you're feeling generous or just watching this, please go to paypal.me forward slash homemade garden jam and lob us a donation so we can be paid for our um, effortful work. It's fun, but you know, I do be sweating. Um, Wait, let's have some music. Oh yes, we've we got have some, some background, background music. music. Yeah. Of course. Also, oh, if you're watching, say hi in the comments. Oh, Emma's on a microphone. I've yes. got my own microphone. Hi, guys. It's Emma's show, too. Um, so say hey in the comments. Tell us who you are, where you're yes. watching, what you're doing, and then we can shout out live on air to say hi. Uh, reminder that all that fancy stuff in Facebook where you, like, send hearts or claps oh, yeah. is Don't beautiful, but we can't see that. We want physical emojis are fine. Use your words, but physical guys. ones as physical comments, and then Use we can see them pop words. up, and we can say hi, because it's an interactive show. Exactly. So uh, throughout the show, there's opportunities for you guys to join in in your comments please do comment um, and give us some words and we'll try and keep keep an eye on them throughout the show as well um, thank you to the Royal Philharmonic Society for supporting Jesse's Homemade Garden Jam and Harriet's Trust for their incredible support which enables us to get the bare bones of this together but the rest of it comes from you paypal.me forward slash homemade garden jam am I right so we have Ella Honan Ford on vocals Kalamau on trombone, we have Karush Kanani on guitar, we have Karen Street on accordion, we've got a ah, bee in my hair, <laughs> but Connor Chaplin on the bass, and a bee in my hair. Um, we have Emma behind the camera, we have Lottie behind the other camera today. We've got a new, new different new handsome sexy sound camera, man today. Camera boy. And uh, I'm Jesse, so let's get the show going, shall I'll we? I'll just let you know, you no longer have a swoop, oh, you have an almost sent parting, and you're gonna be unhappy if oh, I don't there we go. Is that better? Because the bee was in my hair. The bee ruined your swoop. Okay. I'm gonna let you take the camera. We've got neighbours, it's now, selfie remember time. remember the rules, Jesse. go slowly and gently. Go slowly and gently. Look, I'm gonna turn it so you can see yourself. Oh, thanks. Oh, hey, everyone. So, we've got our neighbours having a little party in the garden next door, ready for the jazz. We have Calamau. Hello. Look at him. There's his arm. Very nice. We have, oh my God, guys, Leek Flowers. It's been four episodes and they've finally come through. Right, Check them, them out. Oh, oh no. Oh dear. We've got Connor Chaplin over there. Oh, it's not even on me anymore. So I'm, I'm using a selfie stick and it's not working. Hello, everyone. So, as I said, Karen, Karush, Ella, Connor, Callum, me, Emma, Lottie. Give a wave. Can you put your hand in front? There's Lottie's hand. Yay! So, welcome. Right. Emma, are you set up and ready to go? Uh, I'm still faffing. She's still faffing. Do you want us to keep going? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm all good. We're going to keep Wait, going. Oh, no. Nice so. <laughs> Can you do that again? <laughs> there's a bee in my hair and now there's bees here. That's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm back on this one. Great. Um, so we're going to start with the wonderful. Does this look like the leek has red yeah, hair? Can you explain about the leek flower? So, the important part of the the, show? well, this is the most important part of the show. Welcome. Um, this was a leek down here. Emma's kind of slowly panned down. No, she's not. Um, this is a leek, but we let it go to seed and it grew all the way up here and then turned into these really tight little white buds, which were these. And then for two episodes, I was like, I'm going to cut these down right away. And then I was like, maybe it'll turn into a flower. And it did! And the bees love it. So very excited. Um, Can you give me that back? Because I forgot to turn my microphone on to the other microphone. Okay, well, I have this now. Well, why don't we meet the wonderful Ella, who's Wait, here. Wait, don't can't hear them yet. Wait for it. What? What? Well, you can hear me on my lav mic, right? Now we can hear everyone. Hello, Ella. And we can hear everyone. So we're going to hear a song from Ella. Sure are. This is the, the only sort of um, empowering standard lyric that I know for the women of this world. It's called Tangerine. And um, it's, a, it's about how she needs no one else but herself. It's a little, little lesson in self-love for all of you at, at home. And um, yeah, that's what I have to say about that. I'm going to get out of the way as well. Trying to find trying to find the empowering line. No, I don't see it. It's not particularly <laughs> empowering, but it's just Should not... Should we do wives and lovers instead? Yeah, exactly. That one's real. You're going to be in camera, though. Just so you know, Jesse, we're just going to have your, your orange head. 
Am in I the shot? Top? Yeah, yeah. Be top of your orange head. Come over here. You're out shot over here. <laughs> nice try. I suppose we'll sing it then, shall we? Straight on it? Yeah. Straight on it. Hmm. One, two. Tangerine. She is all they claim. With her eyes of white, lips as bright as flame. Tangerine. And when she passes by, Signorita stare, caballero sigh. I have seen, I've seen toast to tangerine. Raised at every bar across the Argentine. Belongs to time. Thank you. 
well and truly met the band. Both on now, Lottie. The, yeah. Right at the end of your this one. Stick on me. Yeah. You want this one? Why not? I'm going to try and join the band now. Right. Yeah. Let me just explain. For anybody who is tuning in, who are seasoned uh, jazz audience members, I'm a classical clarinet player. So I was like, Callum, what's the set list? Can I have all the music? He was like, It's jazz. We're going to do a minute ago. You know. You know how it goes. No, I don't. So hopefully this is going to work. Um, we're going to do a minute ago. Callum, can you tell us a little bit about this version? Yeah, um, we're going to do something that's somewhat similar to um, the 1955 Duke Ellington version um, with um, Tyree Glenn, the trombone soloist. And um, to achieve this effect, the trombonist uses an interesting combination of a toilet plunger, which is... From our toilet. You can, you can get it. It's not from Jesse's toilet. It's actually from Brixton Market, and they cost a pound for five. Um, which is a very, very good deal. Um, I recommend them. And then you use this little thing, which is an, it's called a straight mute, but it's an alto trombone straight mute. So it's a smaller straight mute than you'd normally use. And the reason for that is the straight mute goes in, and then the plunger goes over the top. Now, the reason for this is it makes all sorts of funny noises like this. <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds almost like a human voice talking. And the combination of the plunger mute, the pixie straight mute, um, and the trombone is called the talking trombone, which is heavily featured in a solo sort of inspired by Tyree Glenn in this next one, which is Duke Ellington's Mood Indigo. Wow, what an intro! What did you get for your A levels? <laughs> <laughs> Not worth talking. He won. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone gets an A now. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. 
from very tasteful to silly! <laughs> Yay! Wouldn't be my garden jam without Can a bit of silly. Shout out for people online. Shout out for people online. Boston. I know there's somebody from Canada, Boston, somebody from Canada. Yorkshire. Who else? Um, Nazneen in Yorkshire. Hey, Nazneen. Uh, so, anyone else watching? Shout out. Shout out. Get your shout outs. And a reminder because they can join in this game. And also, you know, for everybody, if you wanted to go to paypal.me forward slash homemade garden jam to support the fun, you know, yeah. dig deep. Massive pockets, you know, three pounds, three thousand pounds. We're fine with whatever. So, we just played M Mood Indigo, which is the colour of blue. So we're going to do a silly little game now. Can and we explain about Callum first. Okay, yes. Why don't you explain? Do you want me to bring my lab mic to you? Intimately close. So Callum, the one yes. and only very talented Callum out. One oh. talent, talent that Callum doesn't have is uh, distinguishing very different colours from each other. Well, they're not that different, are they? Well, like a... <laughs> I, can't, I want to find a good example green green. here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Green, all Here's greens are green, all blues are blue. Uh, no so subtlety. This, this game is dedicated to you, Cal. So the game is called Wanky Paint Names. <laughs> and the winner of this game is going to get a tomato plant Hooray. from our very own garden. Wow. We also have two to get rid of, so the runner-up might win too. So the first one, the, the point of the game is I'm going to read out three paint names and only one of them will be blue. So can the band? Guess. And people online? And people online. You guys have instruments, so make a noise on your instrument if you think you know. So okay, that's the buzzer. The yeah, buzzer the buzzer. Sound. The buzzer sound. Yeah. So <coughs> the first of our paint names are indulgence, addiction, or scrumptious. Oh Which one is blue? Uh, I don't know, I just wanted to make a noise. Yeah. <laughs> but I could guess. Go indulgence. On. Was that one yes! Oh, Karen gets a point! It is indulgent! Addiction is purple and scrumptious is purple, apparently. So now we've got typical typical names you might find in the paint shop. Spring breeze, light breeze, or morning breeze. Morning, morning breeze or morning breath? Breeze. They're all breezes. Spring, light, or morning. Which one's blue? I'm going to say light. Yes! Oh, Very good! This. <laughs> you guys looked at my cheat sheet already, that's really good. Okay, you how about... over here so that you don't block that camera. I'm here. There you right. go. Right. How about Silken Sunrise, Opera Sunrise, or Arctic Sunrise? <laughs> Arctic Yes! Okay, what? <laughs> Maybe these are instinctive after all. Okay, I've got a point each. Come on. Okay, Coastal Retreat, Oyster Cove, or Rock Pool? All water-themed. Which one's blue? Only yeah. one is blue. <laughs> Rockpool. No! Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, what were they again? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just want to make a noise as well? Yeah. <laughs> Coastal Retreat or Oyster Cove? Um, Oyster Cove. No. Oh, no points for anyone. It's no Coastal point. Retreat. Callum's meant to go. Okay, how about this? Place names. We've got Highland Falls, Norwegian Fjord, or Dublin Bay? Norway. Yes! Two points to Callum. Does he have two now? Is that right? You have to count your own points because it's too tricky okay. otherwise. Okay. Right. How about Eaton Square, Haymarket, or Bloomsbury? London places. Eaton Square. Yes! What? Okay, who looked at this? Done. I thought these were completely bonkers. We were getting them all right. Moroccan Velvet, Delhi Bazaar, Japanese Maze, or New York State of Mind? Delhi Bazaar. No. Damn. <laughs> New York State of Mind. Yes! Two each. Oh, it's neck Okay, neck. okay. We've got ladies behaving strangely. We've got. Lady Penelope, Lady in Waiting, Portrait of a Lady, Humble Lady, Fair Lady, or Lady Ophelia? <laughs> Go on, Karen. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> Portrait of a Lady. No, she's purple. Lady Ophelia. <laughs> no. OK, one more guess. No, you're all got it wrong. Lady in Waiting is blue. OK, here we go. Last three ladies. Charlotte's Locks, Lauren's Surprise, Delia's Secret, or Kate's Ring? The secret one. No. Kate's ring. Yes! Okay, we've got twos and twos and twos. Okay, so right. this last one, if one of you twosie get it, then Okay, you this is the tiebreaker. Are we ready? Just between them two. Which colour of paint is blue? Grandma's refrigerator, grandma's sweater, or hair of nan? <laughs> hair of nan. <laughs> That's grey, I'm afraid. Oh. For the winning, for the winning tomato plant. <laughs> grandma's sweater. Yes! Congratulations, wow. Callum. I know, so the man doesn't know any colours. That's extraordinary. That's, yeah, yeah, I know. Um, actually, I'm over here for some accordion chat. 
It's not often we get an accordion in the garden. Uh, I, I can't put the camera on. Really? There you go. You're Is that good. all right? That's good. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had an accordion. We've got co accordions nearby. I know Den has one. Um, and we were thinking, Callum and I were thinking about how we can get away with not having an obnoxious drum kit. Indeed. And actually, this is a combo we came up with, and I'm so excited the minute you mentioned the accordion. And also, Karen Street is Toby Street's auntie, right? Oh, yeah. We've played Toby Street's arrangements, and he's a good pal of the jam. Um, so, tell us about the accordion and jazz. Is it a thing? Well, actually, yeah. I mean, it's uh, not obviously very common in jazz. No. But it uh, was very popular in America in the 1950s when the accordion became. It was in its heyday, it was sort of tango instruments. And, uh, and of course, uh, before keyboards came in, it was used in, um, in jazz quartets and quintets, so that's why it was very popular at that time. And then, of course, keyboards came in and knocked it sideways, literally. Um, <laughs> and it's also used in kind of swing jazz as well, like hot club jazz. You often see an accordion in yeah. music too. So we've got an accordion speciality now. What are we going to hear? Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to, I'm going to get out of the play Forrester uh, Teal, which means I wish you love. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh...
Hello. Um, amazing. It's an accordion, a fabulous instrument. We're going to now do a tiny little, very quick garden tour. In fact, it's a very small tour because I want to just show off a little bit from in behind Ella. Whoa. Look at this! <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. And we also <laughs> have... Singular applause. Wait, are we doing a... We're doing a tiny what's growing. Do I get because, a full one later? Uh, I don't know if we have time. These are just uh, impressive specimens. We should actually give one away as part of the winner. But I know that Callum's fiance <laughs> would throw up if we brought one into her house. So um, <laughs> she doesn't get one. Um, the sorry, okay. Maybe Callum could not win them in that one. Yeah, okay, if Callum doesn't win. Gun, it come yeah. so you can, I can use your mic. Can we talk about what we did with the courgettes after oh, they grew yes. giants? So normally courgettes trail along the ground like a squash or whatever. Um, and we've always grown them that Yeah, <laughs> move your paraphernalia. That's got her. Um, but then I read a thing on the internet um, that you can pin them up. And um, Jesse's always a keen at hacking things back and I'm always worried about it, but it said you can cut off any leaf below the latest or like the but first look, courgette because they're not feeding the courgettes because they feed from the leaves above. But it's really going for it with the spindles. So, These spindles are going to grab on and climb up. Way, it's really great. So we've pinned it up and it's oh. much happier. Well it's done, Courgette. And it's only got fresh leaves and it's a dream. And uh, this garden jam is always brought, by our, brought to us by our neighbours. So first of all, Brooke, the only tomatoes that are in colour, yellow oh, tomatoes. Is Quinn kind of there? Okay. I mean, she's sick of tomatoes, but I'm going to see if I can throw this. Can you catch it? Oh, well, you know, Twin, Quinn always gets a treat. Um, also, this beautiful sign made by Brooke. The whole family's here today. It's there great. They are. Favourite name, many, fa all our neighbours are equally lovely. Brooke made this, <laughs> and very importantly as well. Miss your Den. Den has provided guitar strings which broke, so thank you so much wherever Den is. Den He's getting up for rescuing the, da the jam. Yes. Um, and we're actually going to hear these amazing strings now because Connor and Stru have got... Singular. Uh, <laughs> yeah. really you can only string. play on that one. You guys have a tune yeah. for us, what are you going to play? We're going to play a tune called How About You. It's all about liking New York and stuff.
online. We've got friends from France and Callum's daddy's online. Hooray. Yay, hi John. John's been a lovely and supporter Anna. of the Jan. And Anna. Yes, I said hi to Anna on the text. Hi, so obviously this whole thing is because I want to play and um, I, in the first lockdown, I learned, this is my first jazz tune I ever learned. Of course I'm reading the music a bit, but you know, you'll forgive me. Um, and I recently did this actually, if anyone wants any more 1920s style fun, um, the Boyne Music Festival where I was going, <laughs> why, why we didn't have a jam for three weeks? Because I was in Ireland doing the Boy Music Festival and we did um, this tune amongst others. And I wore a tuxedo, a little bit more formal than this. Um, and it was very fun. But shall we play some Marty Shaw? I was going to get my phone so it doesn't blow away. Um, and kick a bass, sorry. <coughs> yeah. Don't show it, that's cheating, I'm cheating. It's really hard against the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Very good. Here we go. F. One, two, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> so, inspired by the, the name Hop, Skip and Jump, we're now going to challenge these incredible musicians with a series of uh, tricks. So what the, the, the basic premise is, they're going to play a tune and we're going to use basic, it's very basic. I've got three instructions, a hop, a skip and a jump. So they're going to play, let's just hear what you, what, what you might play. Um, 12 bar F. Here we go. One, These guys just make this two. up on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> jump their speed is going to change but crucially it's not agreed upon so it's just going to change but they don't know what to both on okay ready hop is change key skip is your soloist change and jump is your speed okay Gonna go here. Are we ready? First one I'm gonna just do a hop. Change key. Impressive, very impressive. Oh, it's a good bit of exercise for me. What are we doing next? Um, oh, we're going to chill out now. We're going to get Ella to sing us a song. Very nice. Have a bit of a relax. And they all know a what key it is. They even dis dis agreed upon that an hour or so ago. We might so stay in that key. they might stay in that key as well. So here we go. Here's Ella Honan for it. And what's the maybe intro of this tune? Oh, this is a beautiful old old song. Um, I don't know much about it, but it's my parents' favourite song. So. Mom, if you're watching, Dad, if you're watching, this one's for you. They are the old folks that live on the hill. Look at that slug. Did you know you have to look at that? Where? It's really horrible. Oh! Wait, let me it's get that. Big, um, 
So normally I throw them in there, but that means I would possibly hit you. Oh. We'll just leave it go. Wait, that is gross. In. Goodie bags. <laughs> that is very gross. Oh, Emma's gonna go Song. go yeah, right in. I'm going in. We can start while Emma's on the slug. What? <laughs> I'm going to endeavour to slightly, not lower the tone, but we've got one more little game to play, also inspired by Callum. Um, and this one, the very first time he was in the garden was our first season of Garden Jam. And we had cucumbers and he was like, oh, I really like cucumbers and proceeded to eat it in like almost one go. It was incredible. So we're going to have a cucumber eating race. And I think, Kurosh, have you uh, volunteered? 
Yeah. Emma, do you want to see me pick the, the cucumber? They're real live I'm cucumbers. I'm scared about going up against Callum now. Here's what I just one. Heard, what I just heard. It's going to be humiliating. And probably. The little just try and make the Actually, <laughs> I'm going to go. I have to wash it. It's got a bit <laughs> gross. Callum, you want to tell us about your love for cucumbers? How many cucumbers would you say you eat a day? Whole cucumbers? Fewer than one. Uh, in a week, probably three. Half a cucumber a day, but I don't even. I, I, I tend to eat it in one go. Yeah, never sliced in a salad. Or, no, generally no. not. No. That's for you. Oh, thank you. Oh wow. That's for you. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> right. Now, so, uh, could you kind of maybe you could come round, stand come next around? to each other for fair. All right. Um, I'm in the way. Just in make the way. sure you get this on camera. Yeah. It's very important. <laughs> Actually, wait, could you can sit in that. Some, um, could, you swap, could you sit in that seat so sure, I can get a nice? Karen and Connor, can we get some comedy vamping while they while they do it? Yeah. Pass the instrument over. Jesus. I think start the music and then we can count them yeah. again. Bit of a com comedy really band. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a healthy game too. Yeah. Vitamins, exactly five a day, everything yeah. here on a jam. Okay, here we go. Wait. Are we ready? Oh Are we steady? <laughs> go! <laughs> it's quite... <laughs> Be. Yeah, I mean, come on, it's a competition, race. <laughs> Callum, maybe he's speed storming up the music ahead. Slowly. Let's encourage them. Yeah, okay, he's got all over his trousers. Come on, Callum, <laughs> laughing will only slow you down. <laughs> I gave Callum a slightly larger one. Where's your sense of competition, Callum? <laughs> <laughs> To catch him. <laughs> Don't <laughs> choke. <laughs> Come on, he's like Mina. Where's he supposed to be? That's not gonna work. Oh. Oh. He's got it. I think close. he's got it. Close. He's very close. Champion. Yes. Oh. 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 Congratulations. Well, Callum, you've let yourself Callum, down. Callum, you've let yourself down. No, you he's still chewing. That's all right. He's in. He's in. I think you're chewing for the rest of the jam. I'll give him a few minutes. That is very, very impressive. Well done. So close. That was the weirdest thing I've done all week. <laughs> Just the week. This <laughs> is last Sunday. Cucumber, cucumber, I just lost it. Um, so Jesse. Oh yes. Oh, and can I do a lovely. shout out to Hannah Morton? Yes, Hannah really Morton. Previously yeah. of one of our biggest fans. Thanks, this is the first jam she's been watching well this season. Hannah Morton, welcome. She is suitably ashamed, but she has logged on to be. Her mind has been blown. Her mind has been blown. I'm so glad. Music, I mean, the these guys, the best jazzers in London, nay the world. <laughs> and to prove. Prove their that's, brilliance. Oh yeah, yeah, that's how, yeah. Callum's still going, he's not been put off. Yeah, We've got a game, we're about to play. play the instrument in a minute, Callum. Yeah, bar, <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, you just a bar at like folks who, li who what, lived on the hill? Is that the, yeah, but that has the word nightingale in it, right? Oh, no. The song no, no, we just no, did. Next one, start oh, okay. too soon for you. We're going to have the song before you aim. <laughs> Are you sure? No, we're going to do it now. So we're about to hear a song that has the word nightingale in it. We're going to test the improvisation skills of our friends here. Um, for those online and in in person, welcome. Look at this party over here, Emma. Where's this is amazing. Where's There's a way. Show on the party. Yay! Um, There's a whole family, family party. Friends and family. Yay! So what we're going to do, mainly for our online audience, but also our real life audience, is at this one. No, stand here. Oh my though. God. Do we talk? Look, come here. Let me position you. In a, in a bit. This That's is firmly in my life, just been told what to do. So we've got four or five different bird songs. Ten seconds. And we're going to hear the bird song. For you online, we'd like you to guess what the bird song is. In person, we're going to get be treated to an improvisation based on the sounds that they hear. I'm just going to check my thing works. So here's our first one. That's it. Do you want to hear? And audio, oh, online audience, you can guess while they play. Again, please, Carol. No, no, we were, but I think... Okay, here it is. What's the next one? 
That's pretty obvious. First one, John Owens, guest at Blackbird. First one was, of course, the Nightingale. Second one, what was that? Just have your guesses. Pretty obvious, but let's go. Here's the third one. This is not a native to the UK, Emma's pointed out, but I just think it's a great sound. Beautiful. Connor's gone full avant-garde. I love it. <laughs> uh, number four. Can I hear it again? Beautiful. Number five, last one. Can you guess? Have we got any guesses coming in? Keep your guesses oh, coming, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got we got some delay on the thing, so we're going to tell you we had a nightingale, obviously, a cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh, it's not playing out. I think a go golden oriole. That's that one. A willow, willow tit. And the other one was um, the black woodpecker was the last one. Right. So shall we hear our song with our lyric in it about nightingales now? Let's. That is Stardust, isn't it? Okay. Stardust. No, we're not even going to hear the word. I'll, I'll say just that one. <laughs> Thank you. 
of our much more chilled than usual. Often these garden jams are a bit manic, but I feel like this has been a much more Sunday jazz energy, which I quite appreciate. Um, if you haven't yet, open up your browser and type in www.paypal.me forward slash homemade garden jam. Double, double, double. Double, double, W. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do that for the rest of the time. Don't stop. <laughs> please, please, once from Wait, wait, once Double you. Double W, <laughs> full stop, PayPal <laughs> dot M E, line, <laughs> Jesse's no nope, homemade homemade garden jam. Maldo Callum, thank you very much. Um, dig deep, it really helps us. So we're gonna um, play it with my one of my dad's favourite tunes, um, which is "Ain't Misbehaving" because he's literally always misbehaving. Mm -hmm. um, and this is Fats Waller. Also, I mean, I say I'm not a jazzer, but definitely Fats Waller was. The man in our house when I was growing up. Um, such great comedy lyrics. So great. I hate you because your feet's too big. But this one is uh, Ain't Misbehaving with Ella Honan Ford. Thank you very much. Karen Street yeah. on the accordion. Karush Kanani on the guitar. Emma hates when I do this so quickly. You couldn't do the people next to each other. Connor Chaplin yeah. on the bass. Yeah. Me. And yeah. Calibo! <laughs> oh, um, tune in on Saturday the 28th. We're doing a very different show. We're, we're doing drag kings and queens of classical music. We will have a full wind quintet in drag playing homo musicians. It's going to be great. Um, for Pride, it's the same day as Manchester Pride, I think. Um, but I've got some amazing musicians. And we even have a makeup artist who's going to come and do the lads' makeup. And it's going to be great. So tune in on Saturday, not Sunday, because our dearest friends, Bex and Ellie, are getting married. So we're going to go to their wedding. So Saturday the 28th is our next garden jam. And thank you for watching. Bye. Here's Ain't Misbehaving. Yeah.
No one to walk with all by myself. No one to talk with, but I'm happy on the shelf. Ain't misbehaving, saving all my love for you. For you, for you. I know for certain the one I love. I'm through with flirting. It's you that I'm dreaming of. Ain't misbehaving, I'm saving my love for you. Like Jack Horner. The one I love, I'm too pathetic to you that I'm a dreaming of. Ain't this behaving? Saving all my love for you. All right. Ain't this behaving? I'm saving. Ain't this behaving? I'm saving all my love for you. 